Hello and welcome to a brief guide on how to efficiently mine coal in RuneScape. This is not part of the two minute guide because there's a lot of information to cover, but let's get right into it. Now the first thing we're going to want to talk about is levels and location. So you're going to want level 60 mining to get into the pay to play or the members area of the mining guild. The pay to play area of the mining guild is it's absolutely amazing. It's got a plus seven invisible boost to your mining, which means you're going to be mining faster. It gives you a chance to get unidentified minerals, which you can turn in for very important items called mining gloves and its variants that can help you uh, have beneficial effects while mining. And once you've acquired all the mining glove variants that you want, and you can com finally combine them to what I have here, the expert mining gloves, you can also start turning in these unidentified minerals for soft clay packs. And let's take a look at Bologna store right here. So we can see here she has the mining gloves, the superior mining gloves. You can also buy the soft clay pack and that is what's giving you the 1800 value when I hover over it in rune light. All right, so essentially we've established you wanna be level 60 mining and you wanna be in this location. So let's move on from that. So the first thing is, is once you're in this location, your first goal for mining coal efficiently is actually to get these mining gloves. Not the expert mining gloves, just the standard mining gloves. It takes 60 unidentified minerals, and the fastest way to get those is just by power mining iron. If you don't wanna do that, you can just go ahead and start with coal, but the reason why we want these, and I'll show this effect right here, this is the same effect as the expert gloves. The expert gloves just combines them, the, the two different variants of gloves, and we can talk about that in a different video, but essentially, as you can see here, my character mined the rock, gave me the XP drop, and then mined it again. So it basically has a 40% chance of non-depletion, meaning you can mine the rock and it can just keep going, and you can actually get these multiple times on a single rock. So this reduces the amount of running time between each rock, and this is just another benefit that adds on to the mining guild's already low respawn rate, so you can actually mine in between these four rocks, something that you really can't do without the mining gloves and without the reduced uh, respawn rate of the mining guild. So we're in our location, we've acquired our mining gloves, now let's talk about all the accoutrements. So coal bag is going to be the second most useful item here, because the coal bag basically lets you store an entire inventory of coal. You can acquire that in the Motherload Mine. That is very AFK, and you can do that on your way to leveling up to level 60 so you can get to the Mining Guild. The coal bag is just awesome. You can open it, and the coal will go right in there. As you can see, as I've been mining and getting these XP drops, you haven't been seeing those coal ores show up. That's because it's going right into the bag. So we've gotten the coal bag. We have the mining gloves, we're in the mining guild, what else do we need? So obviously, we want our highest level pickaxe. For me, I'm just using a dragon pickaxe. Uh, you can use whatever pickaxe you want. Uh, just make it as high level as you want. By the time you're getting into the mining guild, you should have access to the dragon pickaxe, but if you can't afford it, rune is perfectly fine. So boom, we've got that. So let's talk about these other things. So when I mine, I typically leave the identified minerals in here. When we have the coal bag, that one space isn't doing anything and it just makes it a little bit more efficiently efficient for us. We can just walk to the bank deposit, we can deposit our coal that's in our inventory and we can just right click, press empty in the deposit bank interface. We don't even have to go into our main bank, it makes things really simple. So we just keep these right in our inventory. It's less of an itemization and more of just an inventory management tip. Now here's the rest of these. Gem bag, not necessary at all. I really like it. You can get the gem bag and mother load mine as well, it's probably the easiest place to get it. Um, the gem bag just takes any gems you get and puts it right into the bag. I really like this item because it makes it even more AFK. You're not having to take up a lot of slots with random gems that go right in there. And when you're mining coal, coal only has a value of 140 gold. So any gem that you get, it's actually going to be higher values than the coal. Now, it's not entirely uh, relevant because technically when you're mining, it's not replacing the coal. It just means that there's never any time where you'd be like, oh, I need to drop this, um, especially with this gem bag. So that's nice element of coal. So here we have our first coal that's actually gone. We've been mining this entire time, and finally, uh, it's actually outside of our coal bag. So you can see how that can really reduce how much time we're having to run back and forth. And uh, there it is, oh, 159 gold. That's awesome. So the next thing in the puzzle is the Amulet of Glory. This just goes along with the gem bag. 
Even if you don't have one, the Amulet of Glory is going to be good because it vastly increases the rate in which you acquire the gems. That's just going to give you a little bit more GP per hour. If you don't want random gems in your inventory, especially if you don't have the open gem bag, or I'm sorry, just the gem bag, you definitely do not need to wear this. But I would definitely recommend it if you're going for a little bit of extra profit. Um, although that's not necessarily for coal itself. Obviously, if you're an Iron Man and you're not really interested in all these extra things that give you profit you don't need to wear it but as an iron man as well you know any gems are probably helpful um so we have that now the last two items are the celestial ring and the varak armor so you don't need varak armor three just like you don't need the expert mining gloves you just need varak armor one varak armor one gives you a percentage chance to mine double ore it's different than the effect that the mining glove gives you the mining glove gives you a chance of non-depletion meaning you can mine that rock again Whereas the Varak armor gives you a chance to get double ore, but the rock will deplete. Now you could stack these, so the Varak armor gives you the double ore, and then the mining glove activates and then lets you mine the rock again. So that would be really, really awesome and nice, and that's just a nice little interaction, but that is definitely something you're going to want um, to increase your coal mining rates. So the last item is the Celestial Ring. So the Celestial Ring can be charged with Stardust from the mini game, the Shooting Stars mini game. Um, and when you charge it with Stardust, it has a similar effect to Varok Armor, in which it increases the chance in which you will get two ore out of a rock. However, I'm not charging it. I You can charge it if you want to, if you want to get even more coal. Um, but for me, personally, I tend to not charge it. I just acquire, I've just acquired the item doing the minigame, and I just equip it. So the reason why you want this is it's kind of like a mini version of the mining guild passive. It gives you invisible bonuses to your mining level. So basically, with these items, you are gonna have a really nice AFK cool experience. You're gonna be able to bounce between these four rocks. You're going to not have to walk back to your deposit back box very often because you'll have an entire inventory of your coal bag. You're not ever gonna have to sort any of your gems because they're gonna go right to your gem bag. We keep this little unidentified minerals thing here, so we're not going to have to deposit that very often, and we'll be getting extra gold from that, or uh, just so that we can finally like combine all our gloves with the expert mining gloves. We got our extra level, we've got the actual mining guild itself, and we've got a really nice little easy setup here. So that is the short version of how to efficiently mine in the mining guild for coal.